What is up y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me to the grocery store. A lot of you have asked what I eat in a day. So I figured I would do a grocery haul because I need to go to the grocery store. We have nothing in this house. So I thought this would be a perfect time to film this video. And then tomorrow I am going to film a full day of eating. So you will have that up on Monday. But I wanna show you guys what I get at the grocery store, what my shopping cart looks like, what our fridge and pantry and all that good stuff looks like so let's go to Publix and let's get our shopping on shopping done at Publix because Publix for one has a lot of fresh fruit fresh food if that makes sense I picked up some some of these buns these are called Roche I don't know how to pronounce these buns but these buns are super good I like to make breakfast sandwiches in the morning with these buns and Caleb loves them as well so I got a pack of four so two packs of four of those and then one of the buy one get one deals that Publix had was for their cereal. I just picked up two things of Life cereal. I love Life cereal and if you need to poop, this will do it. Next thing I picked up are some kind healthy grain, dark chocolate, chewy crunch bar things. I love to throw these in my purse, in my backpack, anytime I'm feeling a little hungry or feel like I need to snack on something, I always grab a granola or protein bar. So there's that. And then this week I am going to be making some goulash and goulash is something that has been near and dear to my heart ever since I was little. My grandma always made it and then my Nana always made it. So I just picked up some creamy tomato soup. Use soup instead of like marinara. This makes it so much better, a little bit sweeter, but I got the organic healthy kind. Campbell's soup is, you know, not the best for you. Picked up some Peter Pan creamy peanut butter because you need peanut butter in your life. And I like to throw this in my shakes. I sometimes throw it in my granola, not my granola, in my oatmeal in the morning. So I just love some peanut butter and Peter Pan is way better than Jif. Pretty much any peanut butter is better than Jif because there's literally only peanuts in here. Picked up a little thing of spinach because you need to get your greens in. And I like to throw some spinach in my shakes that I have sometimes during the day, or I throw the spinach in my, oh, on my bun in my little egg sandwich. Just grabbed two things of sunflower seeds. These are the original. Caleb loves sunflower seeds, so these are mostly for him just to kind of snack on. Next is some low fat granola. I love granola and I like to put this on my acai bowls. So I have some sweetened acai already in the fridge. They come in packets. So instead of spending like $7 for a thing of acai, I make it at home. So I grab granola for that and then I grabbed Five things of, is this five mangoes? Yeah, five mangoes. It was five for five at Publix, so basically a dollar per mango. That is gonna be in my acai bowl as well. And then I also love just eating mangoes. They're one of my favorite fruits ever, so you can never have too many mangoes. Speaking of fruit, I just grabbed three things of strawberries. This was, I think, three, three for five dollars. So they always have some sort of deal and Oh my gosh, these smell so good. I love having chocolate covered strawberries, throwing them in shakes, just eating them on their own. But yeah, you can never have too many strawberries, too many mangoes, too much, too much fruit. You can never have enough. This right here is called Sweet Lauren's Chocolate Chunk Edible Cookie Dough. I have never had this before. This is gonna be a first time trying it. It is dairy free, gluten free. It's nut free, non GMO, no artificial flavors, and it's certified vegan. We are so sad because ever since we moved back to Orlando, the Whole Foods in Orlando does not carry the vegan chocolate chip cookie dough that we freaking love. But Publix had Sweet Lauren's, I think, I think that's how you say her name. And it's really cool because, oh geez. <laughs> it's really cool because it does have her story on here. And she said, beating cancer at a young age, I made a mission to eliminate processed food from my diets. 
When I couldn't find delicious edible cookie dough made from clean ingredients, I decided to make my own. So you know, from one cancer survivor to another, you gotta support the cancer survivors and just people in general battling cancer. So I thought this was really cool and that honestly solidified me buying it was that little story. So I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know how it is. Picked up some chocolate almond breeze almond milk. This tastes like regular chocolate milk. I can't tell the difference. Caleb can't tell the difference. His brother could not tell the difference and we told him it was regular chocolate milk. It is really good. The only downside is there is a decent amount of sugar in it, but moderation for me when it comes to this. I love tofu. I love me some tofu, but since I am trying to gain weight, my body just can't handle the full vegan diet. But I still like to incorporate tofu and vegan foods in my diet throughout the week. Just picked up some super firm tofu to make for some tofu and rice later on throughout the week. I am on a plant-based diet, so I do try to put the best and healthiest ingredients in my body. I don't like to eat a ton of meat, but when I do, I make sure it's grass-fed. There's no added hormones, no added um, antibiotics or any of that. So I did just pick up some ground beef or chuck ground beef. This stuff is actually really good from Publix, and this is gonna go into my goulash later in the week. Ugh. Potatoes. Potatoes have been a staple in my diet. I hate to use the word diet because they just it's just a lifestyle that I live at this point, but potatoes have been really major in almost everyday meals that I do have, whether they're french fries, mashed potato, baked potato. Potatoes have helped me, you know, just gain some weight. So I got a whole whole bag of of russet potatoes. <sighs> Two more bags. Since I got chocolate almond milk, you always gotta get the original almond milk. I love coffee, and being from Seattle, Washington, coffee runs through my veins. So I picked up some more coffee creamer. This is the peppermint mocha from Coffee Mate. This is actually, there is no dairy in here. I do usually get the vegan, I think it's called Khalifa creamer, but they just stopped selling their peppermint mocha, and I just can't let the holiday season go yet. I just can't do it. Then I did pick up four avocados. They had a deal for four for five dollars, which is pretty good for avocados because avocados are expensive. I like to throw avocados in my shakes and I also put them in my breakfast, like little bun that will go here. And then sometimes on my toast, but avocados are super good. They're really high in fat and good fat. So if you are struggling with gaining weight and you wanna have a shake, throw half an avocado in there. You won't taste it, but you'll get some good fat in there and yeah. Last thing I picked up are some, I think these are grape tomatoes. I just love tomatoes. I usually get the little cherry tomatoes. What I'm gonna do is I will chop these up into little pieces, throw them in an omelet, or I'll put them on my breakfast sandwich in the morning. But yeah, that is it for my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is. I think this is my first time doing a grocery haul. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see pertaining to food, fitness, or whatever in general. I do have a lot of videos coming up this week, next week, and I am just trying to be way more consistent on YouTube in 2019. So I'm super excited for 2019, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which is gonna be a full day of eating with all of this. So I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys, bye.